Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you all how to graft avocados using the veneer grafting method. First thing to talk about would be your choice of rootstock or seedling. Now sometimes you might set a couple avocado seeds and you might notice that some of them would grow thin and tall slowly while others would grow thick and tall quickly. The ones that grow thick and tall quickly usually fare better as good rootstocks for grafting, right? Secondly, your choice of budwood. Now at the ends of your avocado trees you have nice young growth that has active buds to the end of the branches, right? As long as you have a piece anywhere between 4 to 6 inches in length, those will work really well for grafting, right? So after selecting this now, you simply remove all the leaves. Just to show you all, we have nice active buds at the top, right? So I'm just going to zoom in the camera to show you all what I'll be doing here for the veneer graft, right? The next step would be taking your budwood and offering it up at different locations on the seedling where you get in a nice comfortable fit of at least one third of the piece of budwood. As you can see here it's fitting really comfortable at this location. So this is the location where you're going to just take your razor blade or grafting knife and simply cut into the back of the tree. Right? Just behind the back of the tree. Removing the entire length that was resting comfortably, right? Which is about one third of the seedling. After that, you simply cut the piece of bark off, leaving approximately one third of the cut on, which would leave a flap, as you can see here. Right? Now we take in the budwood and offering it back again, just to make sure you know where it was resting comfortably, like this. So this is exactly where we are going to put our cut now on the budwood. So you go in into the budwood with a slight angle cut right to finish off the underneath part thinner than the top right. You make sure it's a nice flowing cut as you can see here. And then to the back of the cut you made now. Like this. Now to the back of it, you're going to put a little chip to create a wedge. Alright, make sure it's squared off really nice at the end. And you're simply taking this now and you're placing it in position on the seedling. After doing that, you simply take your piece of grafting tape that you have or plastic with a nice little stretch and wrap from the bottom coming up to the top. Now you make sure where you have your grafted union, you wrap it firmly to keep the budwood in position. Now 
The reason I chose veneer grafting for this rootstock is because I had most of the growth happening with leaves to the top of the ceiling while lower down I didn't have any leaves on the ceiling. If I had leaves all down here I would have chosen the cleft grafting method but because the ceiling has grown like this I chose the veneer grafting method as it was more appropriate right you just wrap it straight up to the top and you tie it after doing this now you look at the top of your ceiling as you can see here and you simply cut off part of it about one third of the growth you see on the top right ensure that you leave some leaves on the tree to make sure that the seedling stays active and alive while it's in the grafting process after clipping off part of the top of your seedling you're going to leave this in a nice cool area away from rainfall to prevent water from getting between the grafting tape and the union that you made on the tree right now the reason for cutting off part of the top is so that the tree could focus some of its energy on the piece that you grafted here rather than focusing its energy on the young growth that it had on the top of the tree right so now you're leaving this until you see leaves growing out from here which happens anyway between two weeks to one month Sometimes it might take a little longer, but as long as you see the stem remain nice and green as it was when you put it on the tree, then you know that your graph was successful. Now after a couple weeks when it grows out really well, right, then you could remove the plastic from the grafted union, right? This would be at least one month after grafting provided that you have active growth on your grafted piece now after removing the plastic all you simply do is cut off about up here one to two inches above where your grafted union was and you would end up for example this was a veneer graft I did some time back we have nice active growth there I cut it off about two inches above where the grafted union was made and as you can see this part of the tree has now dried out and my grafted piece is nice and healthy it's healed really well on the seedling so thank you all for watching the video I hope it was helpful to you all in some ways um, please share the video with others so others could learn and subscribe to get all my videos in one place on YouTube. Thanks again everybody. Enjoy practicing with your seedlings and grafting. Take care.